hello guys in this video tutorial I will show you how to use Zotero as a referencing tool in Google Doc first of all I would like to open one sample doc in my browser here this is my sample Google Doc and all references added here are manually added there are no any Zotero options over here in order to add Zotero button here in Google Doc, you need to add Zotero connector in your browser. In order to do so, go over menu button of the browser and go to extensions. Go to Web Store. And in Web Store, search for Zotero connector. Here, this is the Zotero connector that we want to install in our browser. I am opening this and I am adding this to the browser. Add extension. Here, the Zotero connector has been added to the browser. In order to pin Zotero over here, go to extension and then pin it. Now here this is Zotero connector. Now let's see some changes in the Google Doc. Here there is Zotero that we have installed. Now let's create account in Zotero web library and then connect desktop Zotero with Zotero web library in order to do so open zotero.org in order to log in or create your account go to login option here and if you already have account then enter your credentials over here and log in into Zotero and if you do not then go to register for free account here add your username, email and password and then register. I already have my account so I am not creating my account over here. I am returning back and now I am logging in into my Zotero web library. Here, this is my Zotero web library. Now, I would like to open my desktop Zotero. Here, this is my desktop Zotero, and I would like to connect this desktop Zotero with my web library. In order to do that, go to edit button over here and then preferences once you go over there go to sync option and add your username and password my username I'm adding my username now Zotero desktop is synced with my web library up to now we have added Zotero connector in our browser. We have created Zotero account. We have logged in into Zotero web library. We have linked Zotero desktop with Zotero web library. Now we will be creating Zotero group. This group can be shared between those who will be editing the Google Doc. Now let's create Zotero group here uh, my account is already logged in in order to create group go over group menu over here then in order to create new group go to create a new group now let's add name of the group 
I would like to add name as tutorial one two three and select choose a public open membership and now I'm selecting this button create group now the group is created in order to add members to this group we have to go to member setting and you can add the members over here send more invitations and you can add the email address of the person to whom you are adding here I am adding one person and you can add other persons uh, depending on need just uh, separated by comma invite member I have added uh, next member and you can add more and more members over here you have to add the members who will be editing Google Doc into this group now let's go back to web library in the web library a tutorial one two three is created one a group is created now this has to be reflected in our desktop Zotero let's open desktop Zotero here once this is sync here it is syncing web library is synced with this uh, Zotero desktop so uh, tutorial 1 to 3 is uh, seen over uh, this desktop Zotero now let's uh, go to sample doc here I would like to add these references into our group in order to do so I like to select I like to copy the DOI number from here link to that to references and adding them into our library here I, am, I have selected tutorial one two three and I'm adding the references now I'm adding another reference let's add another reference also another reference is this one now I have added three references into our group tutorial one to three it must be replicated in our web library also let's see here these are reflected over our web library also now let's go to our sample doc and add references uh, into this Google Doc now go to Zotero add citation for the first time you need to connect your Google Doc with your Zotero account I have used this one account for uh, creating Zotero account so I am selecting this one once it is done it allows us to select the referencing style here something has already popped up and we have not seen over here in order to see that go to Zotero option down here there are two windows opening for Zotero go to next one and then here just select the citation style here I am selecting uh, Vancouver okay now once the citation style is selected then we can select the references from here in order to do so go to Zotero option here classic view and then select the reference here this is the first reference so I am selecting this it is adding references now it is done I would like to remove this okay now reference 2 2 is another reference I would like to add this second reference also go to Zotero then add citation here something popped up over here let's select another reference here uh, this is the second reference now second reference is also added I would like to remove this now I would like to add third reference also to Zotero add citations classic view 
and third reference is this one okay now for this first one so i like to replace add that reference also go to add citation mm, and then classic view it is this one okay now i have added references and remove all manually added references from my google doc now i would like to add the bibliography over here in order to do so go to zotero and then add or edit bibliography now the references have been added in order to change the referencing style go to zotero and then go to document preferences and then you can select all the referencing style depending on need sometimes bibliography and the numbers they may not be updated in order to update that go to zotero and then refresh it if you want to unlink the references from the text and a bibliography then go to zotero and then unlink citations thank you for watching this video tutorial if you have any questions if you have any problems related to this then please feel free to ask questions through my email or fiber or through youtube comments and please don't forget to comment share and subscribe my channel